hey guys welcome back to my channel and i hope you're having a wonderful day if this is your first time watching my video welcome join the family remember to subscribe and like this video if you found it helpful and if you come back to watch more videos thank you guys so much i really appreciate all your support um so today guys i am coming back with a highly recommended redo video this is um a repeat of my fake leave out or faux leave out method i'm still trying to figure out the best name for it let me know what you prefer fake leave out or faux leave out method <laughs> i i feel like that video did really well thank you to everyone who watched um who commented um i got a lot of really interesting questions and i got a lot of new subscribers however guys i think that video i said today had maybe like 15,000 um views but guys, I feel like majority of those people didn't subscribe to this channel. <laughs> so if you're one of those guys who watched that video and didn't subscribe and you're watching this one, um, please subscribe. All right guys, so one question I got um, a lot of was, um, I know that video wasn't very clear how I was able to achieve this look. So I promised to come back to do a clearer video, which is kind of what this video is going to be a tutorial that is hopefully in more detail a bit slower and clearer so you can understand exactly what i did also people wanted to know what it looked like on straight hair originally this hair wasn't straight but i straightened it out so that you guys can see what the hair would look like if it were to be with straight hair and i think it looks amazing still i think it looks great and then the last question i had was if we could do this with with a v part or a u part or an i part wig instead of doing a sewing like i did the last time and the answer is absolutely so what i did was i went ahead to make this um, bundles i had into a u part wig and then i i sewed the u part wig onto this hair instead of doing the regular sewing and i think that's much easier for me you know i'm gonna just stop talking right now jump into, into the tutorial and when we come back we'll have a we'll have a little chat so enjoy this tutorial to start off i have a freshly washed hair just um sectioning where i want my parting to be i went for a side c part and once you've had that done what i'm doing next is i'm taking out a little bit of hair beside the parting space to make my boundary braid. Now the boundary braids, um, they should be as thin as possible. They where your fake leave out is gonna be um, made. So, you know, if you can make them very thin, it helps to make the hair lie a lot flatter. So I'm just gonna conroll that all the way to the back, depending on how, you know, how far back I want my part to go. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Take out the very small piece of hair and then you know conroll it all the way back by the time you're done conrolling you will notice however that the um the boundary braids appear to be a bit too close to each other almost like it's covering the parting the parting is actually right in the middle of the boundary braids but don't worry about that because the rest of the braiding pattern would help um you know make your parting a lot more visible so for the rest of the hair I'm just gonna do conroll all the way back. However, what is different here is I'm gonna attach the conroll to the boundary braids. And I'll show you how I do that. First section off um, your anchor braids. And then rather than just sewing it down, I'm gonna take a piece of braiding hair extension and using a crochet needle, attach this braiding hair extension um, onto my boundary braid, just as I've done like so. And with that, piece of hair I will go ahead to conroll um, my anchor braid all the way to the back so what this does is that braiding hair kind of helps to you know pull the um, boundary braids apart from each other and makes the parts a lot more visible I think if your hair is not as dense as mine maybe you don't need to do this but for me I find that this helps to keep um, my parts nicely separated and I'm gonna do this for the rest of the conroe as I go back to the hair. So the second part, again, sectioning, you know, all the way to the back. And again, I'm gonna attach um, braiding hair to the boundary braid, just as I've done like this, and then braid it all the way down or conroe it all the way down. So this is, you know, kind of how I, you know, proceed to 
cornrow the rest of my hair it doesn't have to look so neat you know i really did a crazy job with the neatness here <laughs> but it's okay it's not gonna show so just do all the way down um i went off camera and asked for help from my sister to get the rest of my hair done because my hands were hurting and i was really doing a terrible job <laughs> but it's same thing you know she attached the um the braiding hair on the boundary braids and you know i was able to get the rest of the hair done so that's what it looks like at the back nothing fancy behind the front is really what matters and if you see right now it makes my parting a lot clearer so the next step now guys is to actually get the fake leave out done for this i'm going to need some loose hair i'm using some hair from the same extensions that i used for the u part week so um the hair textures is going to be very the same which is good um i like to spray some water on it just because it helps to um make the hair easy to work with and what i did of course i cut out the weft and then you know began to take a little piece of the hair now guys this hair is, you know, it has to be as, as small as possible. You want to take just little pieces. And I know it looks like funny and clumsy, but that's because, like I said, I wet it. It just helps to like, you know, help you pick the hair and makes it a lot you know, neater when you're doing it. But eventually when you're done with the hair and when it gets dried, um, it's, not, it's going to look a lot better and a lot separated. So don't panic yet. <laughs> We're still in the process. So I'm going to just continue doing that. Um, taking a small piece of the hair that I had cut out and then doing a typical um, crochet on my boundary braids. Depending on how um, sleek your hair is, um, you may want to like knot it twice or once, you know, just depending on, on what you think holds. And you want to you wanna do this, um, this crochet hair as close to each other as possible. And don't worry if maybe if you miss a spot or if something is not close enough, you can always come back and you know fill it up again you know and just have it looking much better so i went ahead and i you know put this crochet hair all the way um to the end of the parting on the boundary braids again don't worry if it's not like really full right now because you have a chance to like make it as full as you need to um by the time you're done it's a it's a process you can easily play with so guys once that's done the second step is to begin to flip the crochet underneath to come from underneath your um, boundary braids and this is what makes it look very natural right right now you can see the knot sitting on the hair but the moment you start flipping your um, the crochet hair to come from underneath your braids or underneath your cornrow it makes all the difference and um just to explain what i'm doing here i'm putting the crochet needle under the braid i'm taking a little piece of this hair that i have just crocheted and you know attaching it to the, to the pin i'm pulling it from under so when it comes from underneath that's kind of what you know creates the magic here because those hairs that's coming from underneath your braid starts to look as if it's growing from your scalp so again i'm just gonna keep doing this and you see the hair now is sort of flipped right because now it's coming from underneath the hair so this is the second step i'm gonna go ahead and do this for all um the hair that i have just crocheted all the way to the end um this is an easy step you don't have to tie it or do anything you just have to flip it so you know put in your crochet take a piece of hair that you just crocheted um, put it in the crochet needle and pull it out from under the hair. By the time you are doing, you've done that, you can see now that underneath starts, you know, it hides all of that knot. And what you need to do next is to use a blow dryer, which is what I have there, my blow drying brush from Revlon. Um, use a blow dryer and kind of redirect the hair so it falls on your boundary braids. So now this hair is what kind of covers the knots it covers you know all of the imperfections happening underneath and again like i said you can always go in to fill this up um if it's a bit too scanty you just need to put enough hair to cover your weft um when you make the rest of your hair um 
when you get the rest of your hair done so that's it guys um all flipped on one side so what i'm showing here guys is just what this hair looks like before you flip it and after you flip it so you can see the difference you can easily see the knots before you flip the hair but then once you flip it like i did the on the other side you can see that the knots are just completely removed so i went ahead to flip the other side as well the blow dryer again to redirect this hair sorry i was really out of frame in this picture and i didn't realize that so after that's done i'm just gonna you know tuck away this my fake leave out so that i can put get the rest of the hair done i have um, already done this you part wig in a different video and right now all i'm doing is just attaching the you part wig to my hair this makes the process a lot easier guys because you know i didn't have to stay there trying to you know sew the weft on my hair i just had to sew the perimeters of this you part wig if you have a typical you part wig that has clippings you can go ahead and use the clips or the combs um to attach it to your parting but in my case i didn't want to take this off i wanted it sewed down so i just sewed around my uh, boundary braids which is now around my leave outs and then i sewed around the perimeter of my hair um, once you get to the perimeter of your hair you don't really have to do too much you can make like very big stitches just enough to hold it hold it in place um, it's really a very simple process sewing this around and i think the wonderful thing is i can always take out the super wig wash my hair wash the u-part wig and use it again without having to you know do regular sewings so guys yeah i'm just sewing this all the way around and i'm bringing it to the front um just making sure that you know i attach it properly so i have this video sped up about three times its original speed so if you prefer you can always slow it down and take your time to watch the process in detail so that's it pretty much guys it's you know all attached this was the original texture of the hair i really liked it but i just wanted to show you guys what it looked like straight so i needed to straighten it anywho now i can take out my you know un unravel my fake leave out and you can see how nicely it covers you know the weft i'm just gonna use a blow dryer a proper blow dryer the revlon wasn't getting the job done <laughs> Um, use the proper blow dryer to redirect um, my hair properly. I got a piece in the wrong place and just, you know, get that done. This helps the hair to be flat. Um, and then if you look closer at this hair, it looks like it's growing from my scalp. And I'm going to put in a zoom in um, video so you guys can see how, how I'm seamlessly blended with my hair. <laughs> So that's it guys um, all done and um, what I just did was I went off camera and I you know flat ironed it you know got the the bottom also straight all right guys so I'm back and this is the final look of course um, all I had to do was straighten out this hair off camera just so you guys can see what it looks like I you know I, I put some um, edge controls on my for my edges uh, to, to make that slick down um, this is a u-part wig and i think it just made the installation a lot easier the moment i had finished the fake leave out it just took me like what 10 minutes to just sew the perimeters of this hair and if you have like a typical um u-part wig that has like i guess um, the combs or the clippings you could use that instead but i wanted to sew this down so i just sewed down the perimeters but whenever I'm ready to take this out, all I have to do is take out the parameters and I can reuse it over and over again. Um, I have another video that showed how I created this new part week. So that video should have come out before this one. So if you haven't watched it and you have questions about how I made the new part week, make sure you go back and watch that video. And then you should have all the information you need about this hair. So with that being said, guys, I think this is, I think this is genius. Like I, <laughs> I love it. I love the fact that I don't need to wear closures. Um, what I'm going to do next is um, after I've worn this hair for a while, I'm going to take down the hair and I'm going to record that so you can see 
how easy it is or difficult <laughs> to take down this style well it's not bad at all don't, don't be worried about that so yes i'm gonna show that in detail as well if you have any questions that i haven't addressed in this video um let me know remember to subscribe remember to subscribe and thank you to everyone who has subscribed previously i really really appreciate it. and i think the channel is growing so that's exciting stuff <laughs> all right guys thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys